This is Radio TV Funnel Nut, and I thought we'd take the time to do another anti Crosley video for Christmas. This is a Crosley model CR, what is this thing, CR249, manufactured in 2007, and like the last one we featured, and like every other Crosley, it's, it's made in China. Now, this is one of the uh, better Crosleys, if you want to call it that, in that it uses a, it has a USB output jack. These are very popular for transferring the audio from your records to the computer to burn on a CD or whatever. It also has auxiliary input, so you can plug an external audio device into it and use the Crosley for the amplifier. And, of course, the 12-volt DC input jack. Let's open it and see what's under the under the heavy-duty cardboard lid here. We have our wall wart power supply, and we have a 45 adapter somewhere wherever it got off to. Actually, the 45 adapter fell down inside the case through the one of the cracks here because they're too cheap to make the adapter either captive into the turntable platter or to give you a storage space for the adapter when not in use. Yeah, we'll retrieve it in a minute. We will open this up shortly. Now about the really only the only decent thing about this in comparison to other Crosleys is that it uses a magnetic cartridge instead of the usual Chinese knockoff ceramic cartridge that's really poor quality, but the shortcomings that this unit otherwise offers it really doesn't matter that it uses a magnetic cartridge or not. For the utmost protection of your records, we have a solid plastic turntable platter with no rubber mat whatsoever. And you can hear the amplifier buzz in the audio. That's never a good thing. And I can detect a bit of wow and flutter here. That's also never a good thing. I will say, in all fairness, the amplifier is a tad bit more robust than what's in the ceramic cartridge-equipped models, but really don't matter with the other shortcomings. Uh, you can see the perfectly balanced uh, turntable platter here. It's leaning to the right. And you can also see the turntable is not running true there. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Yes, only the the most discriminating audio files uh, want something like that. Now, with that said, all joking aside, I don't consider myself to be an audio file, but I would like decent results from playing my records and when copying them to a CD, which is not it's not easy work. It's very time consuming, and there's some steps involved. And when you do it, you want it to sound as good as possible. And it's not going to sound as good as possible on something like this with inconsistent speed, wild and flutter, uh, amplifier noise. I mean, do you want to hear? Do you want to hear that hum in the background of your records, especially on the quieter passages? No, I don't think so. Well, you might, but I really don't. Now, the way I record records to the computer is I have a Pioneer component turntable from the 80s. It's not a high-end unit by any means. I think it's a model PL600. It would be considered black plastic crap from the 80s, but it runs consistently and has a magnetic cartridge in it. I have that plugged into the phono input of a late 70s Radio Shack stereo receiver. And then I have the tape out jack from the receiver going to the line input jack on the computer. 
and I downloaded a free program called Audacity. You can Google it on the web and find out more than you'll ever want to know about it. And that's how I record my records to CD. And the results are very pleasing, much better than what you would get off of this thing. And for what this thing cost, you could use a little patience and go to the flea markets and thrift stores and pick up a used turntable and a used receiver or a used little phono preamp if all you're going to do is copy records and a used set of speakers and you would have something that's far superior to, superior to this like I mentioned in the last video. Now let's open this up and see what the inside looks like. Okay, we have it open and there's our 45 adapter as, as predicted. There's our cheesy little amplifier board, our cheesy little speakers. This board back here is our USB interface. And you'll notice the you'll notice the hot glue here. It looks like they missed the spot here with this. You see they even got some on that transistor right there. Well, actually that's probably an IC because the crappy low quality machine soldering would probably break loose so they need that to hold it in place. And actually I have a little bit of information here that I got from an inside source. This is not actually hot glue. Uh, my inside source tells me that the Chinese who build these things are so cheap that they don't even want to invest in hot glue for these so what they do is they have they have porno playing at the factories and, and, the, and the little Chinese guys who are building these things are, are constantly jacking off during the day and, and well that's what this is right here you know they, they found it a lot cheaper just to, to have, have porno running and, and let the Chinese guy do his thing instead of investing in in hot glue or staples or whatever to hold these wires in place. And you can see our all plastic turntable mechanism with our with our little cheap DC motor here that has a lifespan of hours, a low amount of hours at that. And what usually happens to those motors is the the brushes either wear out or the bushings wear out and that's when you start having problems Many of you know many of you know that I collect old classroom record players and it's sad to note that even Califone has stooped so low as to no longer make their own record players. Instead they're uh, outsourcing their current model to the same factory that makes Crosley and all of the other various self contained record players today. And the reason I know that is because all the stickers, the font style, everything about this is the exact same as this Crosley here. So yeah, if you want a school record player, don't be fooled and buy one of the new production Califones. Get you an older one from the 60s, 70s, or early 80s and you'll have a decent one. I know I ruffle a lot of feathers with these anti-Crosley videos and that's most likely from little hipsters who wouldn't dream of having an old, decent quality system and the reason is, is because all of their other little hipster friends have these Crosleys so they have to have their own Crosley too. Well it's like my daddy used to say to me, I say daddy everybody else is doing it and he'd say well son if everybody else stuck their head in a fire would you do it too?